And hi there again. We're coming to you on the Columban YouTube channel. The text this morning is a well-known text. It's a short one, and it's a rather beautiful one. It starts where Jesus says to those around him, Come to me, all you who will labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Shoulder my yoke, because you will find that my yoke is sweet and my burden is light. That's the text. And it's rather beautiful when Jesus starts, Come to me. He said that many times in the Gospel, where he said to disciples, Follow me. Come to me. Be with me. Journey with me. And then he says, all you who labour and are overburdened. And I was looking at overburdened. In those times of Jesus, the Jews were very overburdened with the supposed Pax Romana, which really was a system of domination and conquest that the Romans imposed upon all the countries that surrounded them. And it meant the presence of Roman soldiers everywhere. And it meant imposing severe taxes. And so it meant poverty. But then I was thinking for today, overburdened. And I wonder if one of the major burdens in society today is expectations. We just had the results of the uh, final year exams, and then the university exams. And people have graduated or not. There are expectations from the family. And then there are expectations from peer groups. You subscribe or you conform to this or that, according to the pressure of your peers. And then, of course, for Christians, there is the burden of getting into heaven. In other words, thinking that we can earn heaven, we can work hard and get into heaven. Instead of seeing it as Jesus presented it, as a gift, as a gratuitous gift. In fact, it's probably a gift that is destined mostly for those who least deserve it. Then Jesus says, Come to me, all ye who are labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. And I was trying to think, what does Jesus mean by rest? I know if you're overburdened, you're tired. So the obvious thing, as we will do at Christmas, is rest. But I think Jesus might mean right order. Right order in relationships, for example. Right order with God, right order with our neighbours, and right order with ourselves. And that I would we could call peace. Peace in our world, imagine. Wouldn't it be beautiful today? in the Ukraine, in Gaza, in Myanmar, in Sudan, etc. Useless, stupid wars, which as Pope Francis says, nobody wins a war. Everybody loses. Anyhow, there are these, come to me, while you are overburdened, and I will give you rest. But I think the key to this is when Jesus says, shoulder my yoke, learn from me, I am meek and humble of heart, and your soul will get rest, because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Because of this, a yoke, as you probably know, there are two parts to a yoke. One for each animal, be it a bullock or a Clydesdale or whatever. And the yoke is put over the shoulders, and the yoke helps the two of them to go together, to to pull together so that they share the load. But even more so, when a young bullock or a young Clydesdale is being taught how to work with the yoke, he's normally put with a more experienced one, a stronger one. And the other one will carry the main load 
and will teach the younger one how to walk in step, how to pull together. And that's what Jesus says. Shoulder my yoke and you will find rest. Shoulder my yoke. Come to me and let's walk together. And I will carry the major burden. I think that's a beautiful um, way that Jesus explains what he means by coming to him. And he will give us rest from, our, from being overburdened. So might that be one of the gifts you can experience for Christmas? The gift of rest, of peace, of harmony. Knowing that you are journeying with, or Jesus is journeying with you, and carrying part of that burden. All right? God bless you. Thanks very much.